கரெக்டா தான் இருக்கு நமஸ்தே one of the very important aspects of understanding yoga and its one of the very important aspects of how yoga influences the stress reaction is to understand the limbic system that is part and parcel of all of us human beings we have the primitive aspect of our brain the most ancient part the spinal cord and the brain stem we then have the middle part which is the sort of not so old but still quite old part what is called the mammalian part and then we have the cortex and the neocortex the human part that is the new kid on the block what happens is that this limbic system which as the name signifies means something that goes round and round in circles deals with our emotions and once our emotions come into play you know they keep on going around and around and so we have the cingulate gyrus we have the thalamus which is just above the connections of your spinal cord and brain stem here we have the hippocampus that is the memory part and then we have this amygdala where we feel fear anger rage and even the sexual responses so we have the cingulate gyrus that is part and parcel of the survival instinct in yoga we call it abhinivesha the klesha the desire to survive at any cost the hippocampus is that part that creates the memory and holds the memory you remember when you spoke to me that way do you remember that day you disrespected me you know and what happens this sets off this circle of emotions and of course the amygdala that is the center where the emotions the fear of the unknown that unsafe stranger it comes in so you have the cingulate gyrus you have the hippocampus and the amygdala they are again all very close to this old part of the brain the spinal cord the brain stem and the impulse of pain that is felt in the thalamus now all of this comes together to influence the hypothalamus the hypothalamus that is the seat of us human beings it is the control center for both the endocrine the neuroendocrine as well as the neuroimmuno systems it is also the control center for autonomic nervous system through the sympathetic and parasympathetic branches and this hypothalamus influences the pituitary the pituitary that lies under it that in turn influences our thyroid gland it can influence especially the two adrenals that are on top of our kidneys and this connection between the hypothalamus the pituitary and the adrenals the hpa axis is one of the most important aspects of how the stress response the stress reaction occurs you remember somebody and when you see them the next time you say oh that is danger the moment you feel danger the amygdala comes into play and the cingulate gyrus is telling you survive at any cost the thalamus is saying last time it was painful so you have pain oh me it is painful survive remember that danger i am afraid and what happens the hypothalamus is surrounded by all these people who are shouting at it screaming at it and what happens it starts to squirt the hormones corticotropin releasing hormone crh that then comes down to the pituitary and acth adrenocorticotropic hormone is secreted 
and then your two adrenal glands, those dunce caps on your kidneys, they start spurting adrenaline and you do something stupid, you do something that you didn't want to do. All because this old part of our brain, the mammalian complex, that only is interested in survival at any cost. Patanjali tells us, Abhinivesha, the klesha, the inborn psychological affliction, that desire to survive at any cost, it is found in even the most learned, Vidusho Api, even in the great learned people. This is why yoga tries to enhance the cortical function, the higher brain function, where we can change the perception of stress. How do I perceive something? And the moment that higher control comes, we can start to control these emotions. The key, of course, is pranayama, where we start to consciously regulate the autonomic, automatic functions and bring it under conscious control. At this point, we start to truly become a human being.